My father immigrated to Australia in 1956 from Egypt. His dad, Greek, his mother, Sicilian, Italian, landed here in Australia, not speaking the language, the usual migrant story, and of course quickly became a Jimmy Grant. Yep, you removed the J and its immigrants. Um, we've worked that one out, thanks Dad. So for me, Jimmy Grant's is this cheeky place about fun. It's about who we are as Australians and Aussies. More than anything, Jimmy Grant's is uh, my interpretation of a souvlaki bar. You would never even find a souvlaki like that in Athens, but it's, it's what makes Australia so wonderful and beautiful. And we've got the Jimmy Dimmy on the menu, for example, a classic migrant dish when they came out to Australia. You know, many migrants were, especially Greeks, were making things like dim sims. Expect hustle bustle. Go there, have a cold beer, possibly a Greek one, and have a great souvenir and maybe enjoy Uku Mother at the end, a Greek donut. Hellenic Republic is, a, is when I say family restaurant, it, it's not about having your brother and sister there, it's about people around a table, you know, breaking bitter. It's about sharing dharma. Hellenic Republic is an integral part of our family. It is the, uh, the foundation to a lot of our cooking. It's classical Hellenic cuisine. We don't compromise on quality of, of product and it's just simply cooked. It's about um, meat and fish kissed by the open flame. It's about simple preparations. It's about goodness that is within the Hellenic cuisine and diet, um, all melted into one. And potentially there's a lot of my mum's recipes. What the Hellenes have done for so long is broke bread amongst each other many of times. And it doesn't matter if it's a bit of bread and some olive oil, it's that feeling that you get when you're sitting around a table in Hellenic Republic, the smell of the spit, the charcoal, the, the chinking of glasses, the laughing, the carrying on, it's about all those things mixed into one that is uh, family. Gazi is in the former space of the old press club. It's an interpretation of one of my favourite suburbs of Athens that has some of the most amazing street food. Gazi, all about fun, all about excitement and definitely turning Hellenic cuisine on its head. Expect a Greek salad, but don't expect what you normally get. Expect a souvlaki, but I'm telling you now, it's grungy, it's gutsy, it's different. The Press Club is the dream, it's the idea. It's a growth from the last eight years. It's been incarnated three times and it's ended up in this amazing space that for me has been something I've dreamt about for a very long time, a, a 10 table, 32 seat restaurant focusing on excellence and precision. And that precision comes in every vein, everything that we think about, the cutlery, the plate, the smell, the music, the light, the feeling. Everything must be as perfect as we possibly um, can make it. As well as the press club, everything else about it is important. Our suppliers that work tirelessly to give us the best produce, and because we're a small little restaurant, we can get little of great stuff. As well as that, our garden, our own garden that we look after and care for here in the CBD, it's a joy because we're able to grow enough stuff just to service the restaurant and the most interesting uh, herbs, flowers, that we can serve to our customers and just know that it's a stone's throw away. Press Club Projects is my development kitchen used only for creativity. So we're in, we are in there um, coming up with the ideas and we've got some of the most state-of-the-art equipment in there to help us achieve the results that we want. It's not a lab, we're cooks. And at the end of the day, all we want to do is make the product taste better. The Press Club isn't your normal walk down the garden road. It's full of twists and turns and lots of highs.